Well, the lady joining me now is not only a star on the court, but she's a star now off the court with ESPN. And uh, Mary Jo Fernandez, fantastic to have you playing with us at the yes. Australian Open Big Mac Legends Tournament. How good is it to be back out on court? It's wonderful. I have so many great memories here, Todd, through the years. This is where I play some of my best mm -hmm. tennis. So to go back out there and play on a show court um, with some of my contemporaries is definitely a lot of fun. And it really motivates you to get in better shape <laughs> and to improve for next time. Did you ever think, uh, as you started out in this game, that you would have legend status? No. And um, I still wouldn't put legend next to my name, but <laughs> it's too uh, no. But it's you know it's nice to hear that you're in the legends event um, with real legends. So to play against Martina Navratilova, um, who I got a chance to play with when I first started as a you know 14, 15 year old, yeah. um, it's unique in our sport that we're able to do yeah. this and we're able to come back and stay involved in the game and. Um, you know, I think the fans uh, appreciate it. I did have a fan yell out at me, can't you hit the ball a little bit harder? <laughs> and I said, well, you know, then I'd be playing in the tour. I'd be, I'd be playing on the tour if I was hitting harder. But, um, but it's fun. I mean, we, we have a, a lot of fun out there, and it's still competitive, as you know. Yeah. If you had the opportunity, is there a legend player that you would have liked to have played against? That's a good one. Um, you it know, could be Margaret Court or it yeah, could be no, uh, Serena. I'm not sure whether you. I got, did play Serena. Okay, so you can't have I don't want to play her again. <laughs> um, you know, one player I admired growing up was Yvonne Gulligan. Mm -hmm. um, loved her grace. I loved um, the way she composed herself on the court. And, um, you know, she just had such a fluid, easy game. And she's such a sweet uh, person. So I think that would be the player I would choose to have been able to have competed against just to share the court with her. And a mighty fine choice it is, is, <laughs> is too. So who was your favorite person on tour while you were playing? Or are there any funny stories to go with it? And that's Geneve Kentwell. Ooh, my favorite person on tour. Well, um, some of my best friends are someone like Gabby Sabatini. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up playing Damn, with her. we used to all love her. We all loved yes, her, we still indeed. do, right? Um, I played her for the first time when I was eight years old. We kind of grew up you know, together in the juniors, transitioned into the pros, and she never changed. Um, we were always great friends, and I remember our families would get really upset because when we played each other, we would be playing cards before our matches, <laughs> uh, whether it was at the French or here, and we'd be talking, they'd be like, you know, you guys should go to your separate corners. You're about to play a big match, and it didn't matter to us. We were still able to keep <laughs> our friendship and leave it on the court and then go back to being friends. This one's from Craig Farley. He says, what do you enjoy most about not playing on the tour anymore? The thing I enjoy the most is not getting nervous. Mm. I used to have a lot of anxiety um, before my matches. I remember. You never my, looked like that. You're the I queen tried, of I cool tried and ice. to not let anybody see it, but my hands would get really cold. Um, and that was just tough because you were anxious about how you're going to play and the expectations. And I tell now the younger players that I work with, you know, as you get older, it gets harder because you know more what's mm. at stake. Mm. And when you're a teenager and you're coming on, you have a lot of freedom. But then it gets tough. So I, those days where I started to really understand what it all meant and how the window was closing, mm -hmm. that was tough. Um, you know, trying to perform your best and feel, you know, a bit of anxiety. You had some pretty big moments. Mm -hmm. Two finals. Uh, didn't quite get over the line in those finals. What is your favorite moment of your journey here at the Australian Open? Well, it's interesting. The two finals that I played, the first one was against Steffi Graf, I believe it was 1990. Mm -hmm. The second one was Monica Seles in 1992. 92. In both those finals, I never had a chance. Um, I sort of knew it before going out there that I was going up against two players that were a lot better than I was and it was gonna take a minor miracle for me to do well. Um, in between those two, I played a semi-final against Monica where she did not play her best. I played the match of my life, and it was on Rod Laver Arena. It was about 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and I had a match point in the third set. And I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to beat Monica Seles to play Novotna in the final, so great opportunity. And I hit the return as hard as I could, and she had a winner <laughs> off of it. Um, and even though I lost the match, it's still the match that stands out as one of my highlights because I played so well. Granted, she played a, not as well as she could have, but I was so close. Thanks for sharing that with us and My thanks pleasure. again for being with us at the Australian Open Big Mac Legends Song. We look forward to seeing you again next year. Thanks, Todd.